Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Heather, this is Creating Chaos, and I have a very special episode for you today. This is my favorite thing to do of the year. I look forward to this from September, from the very end of summer. I look forward to the next year and I start planning because I'm just that excited. I am doing my patio makeover. My patio is probably my favorite part of my entire apartment. I spend so much time out there pretty much year round except for when it's like blistering cold in the winter which doesn't happen too often here but it has been happening more and more since I have moved here. You know, I moved here to avoid the snow and well here we are. I love I love the patio. That's my point. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, love my patio. I spend a lot of time out there and I just love making it so cozy. There's something so special about having an outdoor space in the city. It's, you know, not everyone has that. Just, I don't think I could live without one now because this is just, you know, it feels like comfort and it just makes me so happy to be out there. I don't know, maybe I'm like overdosing on vitamin D, but like, I love it. This is what the patio was looking like before. As you can see, the flooring is in rough shape and in need of an upgrade. The trellis and curtains provide privacy and shade. I made this pendant light with a basket and a puck light, and we have plenty of string lights for the evening. First things first, I am deep cleaning, mopping, and using isopropyl alcohol to prep for the new flooring. So I got these on Amazon. Um, they were on sale and it was $12 to do the entire patio. They were on for like $3 a box. Like, can you even? So cute. Um, I couldn't not buy them. That would be insane. So I'm just, I'm just going to try it and, uh, go against literally everything that it says on the box, but you know, it'd be fine. This might be a bad idea, but I don't know, we're all along for the ride now, so keep watching, see how it turns out. Or else all of this was just for me. We can't have that. So these tiles are not meant for outdoor, they're not meant for high humidity, and they're not meant for direct sunlight. I'm just gonna ignore all those warnings. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna use some E6000 and glue them to the existing tile that is there and uh, I'll let you know how it folds up.
I'm just using ordinary scissors to cut spaces for the railing. outdoors but you know they were $12 I figured let's give it a try and honestly they're holding up really well um, it rained for about a month straight after filming the, the tiling and only a few parts were lifting I just picked them back up a little bit and put some more glue put something heavy on top of it and honestly they've been they've been really good so far so I'll keep you updated on how those are doing as time goes on but so far so good and I'm very happy with it but if I were paying you know full price I probably wouldn't have taken the risk but I'm glad I did because it turned out just so good I love it it just it's so much easier to clean it makes me really happy to look at and I think it makes our patio look so much brighter let's talk about the bench so this is actually an Ikea coffee table. I'll put the name down below because um, I forget at the moment. Um, but it fit so perfectly on our patio that I was like, I couldn't find a bench that fit at all. And I'm obsessed. We've had this for probably four years on this patio. You know, don't limit yourself to benches. Sit on a table. No one can tell you no. One of the best ways to make your patio feel cozy is adding in a rug. So I found this one at HomeSense for $30. It really brings out the orange and the red tones from the flowers, and it just feels like an outdoor living room. So this coffee table I actually made about three years ago. I saw this man just discarding a giant, like, nursery pot like it's nothing fancy it's just a big plastic pot so I yelled at him from my patio I was like hey are you are you getting rid of that <laughs> and I ran down got it from the side of the road and I just cleaned it flipped it upside down and plastered it and then I got a wood round to go on top gave it a whole like full plaster of everything and painted it and it looks beautiful it's been holding up really well but there are a few marks that I need to touch up so in the next video I'm going to give it a paint job and I'm going to touch up the little bits of plaster that have crumbled off unfortunately because well I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing it was a pandemic I just wanted to craft something before I, I don't know die dark times had to plaster yeah gonna update that so the pillows they're a little worse for wear and I do I want to switch them out but that might not be in the budget this year I'm just gonna leave them as they are at least for part one of this video and see how I'm doing financially for part two maybe I'll upgrade them maybe I'll wait till next year We'll see. I got this plant stand off Facebook Marketplace. I love mixing wood tones for a more eclectic look. I'm using a little bit of rub and buff to turn these old dollar store planters that I've had for a couple of years into a nice gold. And I'm planting a bunch of herbs for cooking and cocktails.
I'm bringing in tons of plants, but they'll get their final placement after I find the right chairs. So stay tuned for part two. I'm putting all of my potting soil down here for temporary storage, but I will find a solution for part two. So, uh, something horrifying that I've realized about my patio is that there is a wasp's nest in the ceiling this year. So, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna take a break from doing the patio before I get stung and never go outside again. So, for now, let's just, uh, let's call it, keep it at this. It still looks amazing. It's still so comfortable and cozy and I'm very excited to host out there. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not working around the wasps anymore. Um, I don't, I, that, that's gonna be a landlord thing. You know, I'm not, I'm not de-wasping, no. No, no more. I will not deal with those wasps. So that's why this is a two-part episode. Cool, on the same page. Thank you so much for watching. This has been such a fun project. This is my favorite part of the apartment. I love spending time out there. So it was really exciting and special that I got to share it with you. So thank you so much. If you enjoyed this makeover, make sure that you give it a like below 
And if you're new here, make sure that you are subscribed and turn on your notifications so that you know when I put out part two and when the wasps are gone. Um, I'm still going to sit out there, but I, it's going to be a lot of like freaking out and running inside every couple minutes. But it's worth it because it looks so nice. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye.